Yeah, so in, in yeah, D zone, like just some of the important points that you're looking at is is uh, shot lanes. All right, so it's one thing to to um, to be in position, like to be in your your quadrant or whatever positions, whatever type of style you're playing. But is that when people have are ready to shoot bucks, are you in shot lanes? Are you taking those shot options away? Um, stopping and starting. So in your D zone, what happens a lot of the times if you get out of position or if a puck moves very quickly, what what a habit is that most people have is they do figure skating, like they, they do circles. So if you're doing circles, what happens is your back is to the puck a lot, and you're, you're you know you're 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 out five feet because you did a, a a circle rather than a stop and start. Stopping and starting is a lot harder, but it's it's a lot more effective. Um, pouncing on loose pucks, so. A lot of times there's hesitation. So like when we were doing our battle drills yesterday with the kids, uh, my kid for one, as I was telling him, okay, and at the next level now, son, when you see a loose puck on the boards and, and someone has their back to you, like you see their numbers, there's there's zero hesitation now. It's now time to jump on yeah, the puck. And you yeah. take away that time and space. And if you don't do that, you're not being effective without the puck, yeah. right? Um uh getting pucks out that's when you have the puck but being in position to get them uh coming deep enough in your own zone on on um on back checks right uh active sticks now this is a huge one is learning how to use your stick to direct plays and to keep pucks like so if uh, this is kind of be more of a uh, a visual thing but if you're if you're skating around with your stick like this or up in the air or not in a in a puck area then you're giving this guy time and space so learning the art of even standing still penalty killing whatever it is in your own zone when when you have that puck steering or your stick steering the puck or their play and getting in their space the whole time makes it very difficult for them to make a play yeah. as opposed to standing like this or having your puck in the wrong spot you've made it easier so those are little things right there uh learning how to box out properly as a as a d um uh understanding and this is where lacrosse was really good for my for my son and for a lot of players is understanding that because in, in hockey we all like to score goals and be offensive but understanding that actually the effort has to go in your d zone as much or harder i don't want to even say harder but i think that's appropriate for kids yeah. to take the, the the mental uh attitude of, of playing your d zone extremely extremely hard yeah and then angles this would be the next thing i would say is angles. so that's a lot of stuff yeah i'm gonna we'll pick, pick, pick a few yeah you pick yeah. a few pick through it because I, I mean we could be here for 17 yeah. and a half yeah. hours yeah so well so on D zone. what yeah so what people can do like if because we're going to touch a lot of things if, well, we're only going to get into a couple of them maybe in more detail but if anyone has any questions about something specific they can just follow up or we could do another yeah. one or whatever but so the first thing I, I wanted to just generally say about all those things because you don't have the puck when you're doing this like this is why the D zone is such like hard work yep. because these are all the hard things that you don't want to do. Like nobody wants to do this. So the first, the, what made me think of this was the first point you made was getting in shot lanes. So you have to, you have to be good at that. You have to be able to get in the shot lane, but before that you have to be willing to do that. Yes. That's like the first thing that you yeah. need. So True. if you're, if you're a D, if you're a forward, it doesn't matter. You have to know that I have to get in, in the shot lane because that is what's going to give make the like take away this guy's option to shoot help out the goalie help out what or for whatever reason whether you're going out to the corner or whatever you need to you need to get into a shot lane because that's helping the team out yes that, and and you have to be willing to do that yes and to get to a higher level yeah and or so to stay there right and so when you're a younger kid especially it's scary to go get into a shot lane because the puck hurts man it could crack it can your foot. Yeah, yeah it can you can get hurt doing that so this is another thing where for guys that if you don't have a good coach who's, who teaches you how to do this properly or how to get out into a shot, you can watch them. On, look up highlights of somebody that is really good at getting into shot lanes. Yep. I don't know if you have anyone on, on top of your head that's really good at it. It doesn't no, matter. I, I can't think of yeah, anybody it right it now. It doesn't matter, but find someone who's very good at that. And there's a bunch of guys. I just can't think of one off the top of my head, but yeah. guys that are good at going out, getting in the shot lane, getting big. And watch how many shots they block and they're not getting hurt. Right. It's not like they're, you could get hurt. Yeah. And that's something that you have to be willing to, to take on. You might yeah. take one off the foot and it might hurt. Yeah. Right. But that's just part of the job, especially, yeah. especially for me. Cause I was, I played wing a lot and you're going out 
and you have to get in front of those the D, big D men that are going to tee one up, man. And like you got to eat it. And that's yeah. just part of your job. Yeah. And that's something that you need to be willing to do. Yeah. And it's like that for for all those things that you just pointed out, whether it's um, getting like taking good angles or you can't be just thinking offense. And this right. is the biggest thing that I think for the young kids coming up before they understand, we talk about this a lot, like getting into roles and having a role for yourself before they understand the importance of that. You're always thinking offense. Like you're always thinking, get the puck to get it out so we can go score. Yep. And that is always like the mental framing that especially young guys have when they're just starting because everyone just wants to go score, like you're saying. But you have to be able to dial that back and all those things you just listed, starting, I think, more of it in terms of a forward because I was a forward. But for a D, having a good active stick, like that's a huge thing to be good at if you're a D. Not that yep. it's not as important if you're a forward because it is. Yep. But especially as a D, when pucks are down low, yep. just having a good stick yeah. You watch the the thing that's pop pops in my head thinking about is if you watch a penalty kill, when the puck is down low, watching the how the active the DR when they they can't go force. Yeah. So they have to resort to active stick, being yeah. big, getting in lanes. Like that's what they have to do. That's when you really see like guys that are effective without the puck is when they're down a man and they can't just go and they can't just run and they have to be very controlled and they have to be strategic about when they're doing jumping on the puck or how they angle or how that's a really good place to start for like learning yeah. how to how to learn like or how to integrate those things into your game all those things that you just kind of said yeah you know yeah would uh did you have something else on that well the other thing i was gonna say um first thing was the be willing and then the mental framing of switching off of offense to defense mm -hmm. And another thing kind of just generally that when you don't have the puck, another thing people say is like, you need to be able to read the play. Yeah. Right. So uh, the last kind of thing in the D zone, and it's, it's all over the ice. It's just a more general thing, but, but in the D zone too, is like, you need to, to be able to read like when it's appropriate to do which thing. So on top of all those things you just said, when should I do each of those things? So it's like, if you're thinking I need to go out and get a shot lane, get in the shot lane, when it's actually better to go out there with an active stick mm -hmm. and maybe to some degree you are in a shot lane when you're doing that, but maybe yeah. not, you need to be able to pick or when to go force a guy. Like you're talking about when you see a guy's numbers, right? Yeah. Time to go. Yeah. And a, a couple of like key things that my coach used to say in college is like, if anyone bobbles the puck, if anyone is back, yep. their back is to you, yep. or if they get a puck on their backhand, yep. you're going a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Hard. So hard. What so it's like, said. if you you need to be also be able to recognize that. So when, you, when you're talking about all these different skills, it's one thing to, to have the skills, but then it's another thing is to know when it's appropriate to use those things. And something yeah. like a force, when you're going after a guy, that's, that's a really good example of that because it's not always appropriate to force, but a lot of times you can force. Yeah. And you should, you sh you should be, in a lot of situations, you want to be aggressive on the puck. But being able to recognize, oh, this is when I force. Yeah. Not just like, oh, I need to force, 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 force. Because yeah. sometimes you'll get caught because you're over aggressive or whatever, right? Yeah. So it's and that's the, good, the other part good of it. Place to really get used to that is that's why doing like small area battle drills and stuff like yeah. that. That's where it's really good uh, to you know always have a purpose to do something. So when you're doing those kind of things, like a small area battle drill or a small area game or something like that, it's a great place to get a lot of reps doing that and, yep. and seeing what works and what doesn't. And then always, you know, stick, stick on the puck first and, yep. and then take, cut their hands off so they can't make a play, mm -hmm. you know, not cut them off, but you know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> Angle your body so yep. that they, they can't make a play and you, your stick is always on the ice to knock pucks away. Cause mm -hmm. a lot of guys are going, you know, and, and once they hit the Bantam levels, a lot of guys will go in there. They do a really good job forcing someone, but they go and hit, take the body and their sticks up in the air. But they're the guy you're playing against sticks still, still on the ice still make a play so you right. want to take cut the hands off take the take the uh, puck away from their stick and then you could finish a check yeah uh, uh, i think maybe the last thing before you go to the neutral zone i think uh if i i don't know if you agree with this but i just thinking talking about it now i think a good place to start with like d zone away from the puck play is if you watch penalty kills i think yeah, that's, that's a good excellent. that's probably even better than uh not that it's better but if you to get a really like clear visual of these away from the puck skills in the D zone, I feel like the penalty kill would be a good place to start to watch. So something you can do if you're a kid is wh whatever position you are, if you're a winger or you're a forward or you're a D, watch some penalty kill highlights and like just watch what the D do or watch what the forward is doing. Yeah. Because all that, uh, everything you just said there too, like hitting with their stick on the ice so you can get the puck out, like all that stuff is more dialed in 
on the penalty kill because yeah. you're short a guy. Yeah, that's true. So that's a everyone, good point. And you, know you know just I mean? see guys pouncing on pucks. Exactly. And they're very get, careful. Getting it off the glass, different things like yeah. that just to get it out. So that's probably a good place to yeah. start. Yeah.